This patient was started on the standard dose of efatinib, 40 milligrams a daily, and did experience quite a bit of diarrhea, uh, which we generally will manage uh, almost immediately at the first hint uh, with uh, um, anti-motility agents, uh, modium, uh, uh, diphenoxalate, uh, what I call the brat diet, uh, bananas, rice, applesauce, not juice, toast, cheese, etc. Uh, but sometimes the diarrhea persists despite uh, these interventions and it will often necessitate a dose reduction, or even a brief hold on the dose and then a resumption at a lower dose. And in fact, this patient required such a dose reduction at 30 milligrams daily. Uh, the two most common side effects for the first and second generation TKIs uh, remain diarrhea and rash, and this is really no surprise. Uh, all three agents, gefitinib, relotinib, efatinib, uh, in addition to hitting EGFR mutation, will also hit wild-type EGFR, and wild-type EGFR is found both in the skin, again, epidermal growth factor receptor, but also in the gut. Uh, how do we best manage this? Uh, conservative measures usually do the trick. Occasionally, patients have diarrhea that's severe enough that it requires uh, uh, intravenous fluid resuscitation, may require um, uh, other uh, parenteral uh, approaches. What's f quite interesting is the side effects generally manifest fairly early, and then often over time, patients will develop uh, a tachyphylaxis. They'll, um, uh, the, the side effects, even despite continuation of the therapy, will begin to recede. Uh, some individuals, uh, my own group included, will start the fatinib at a slightly lower dose. Uh, this is not standard, it's not in the package insert, but uh, my group uh, frequently start at 20 milligrams daily and then in the absence of toxicity, build the dose up uh, within a week or two to 30 milligrams daily and then ultimately to uh, 40 milligrams daily if uh, the uh, agent is uh, well tolerated. Intriguingly, if you go back to the LuxLung3 data, and look at outcomes in patients who managed to continue at 40 milligrams daily or those who did require dose reduction, there was very little difference. So I have uh, uh, equipoise uh, regarding uh, the doses and dose reductions with this agent.